So this is what you get in the box. So in the box you get these milliohm resistance measuring pens. You can use these by measuring the resistance across your welds. So in these bags we have some battery nickel sheet which are test pieces. Please pause the video for specs. Get 10 samples in each bag. Next we have your pedal switch for the connection for when you want that connection made. You just put the foot on the pedal. And this is your power supply, which is gonna go into the back of the machine. In this bag, we have some more test pieces, which is pure copper, 10 mil by 0 0.15, five meters of that. Next, we have the spot welding electrodes, which are heavy duty. These are absolutely beautifully made, real nice thick gauge copper wire with bullet connectors very nicely made also with this jack plug connected to the leads the leads come nicely braided they also come with these trigger handles I took mine off you'll see later in the video it also comes with four spare probes and an allen key I haven't needed to replace mine yet as this is a recorded video and I'll show probably later on in the video how to change these probes. That's all of the accessories. Next we have the user manual and your warranty document. I must say that this manual is very nicely documented all the way through. It tells you all you need to know about your Glitter 811H 42 kilowatt machine. Next we have your two screws. Here we have the beast itself, the 42 kilowatt beast of a spot welder. Look at that, that's absolutely beautiful. This is gonna build me some nice batteries guys. I hope you like and subscribe. So this is the Glitter 811H, the 42 kilowatt version. And this is fresh out of the box. It is absolutely lovely. So here it tell you what model you have. Before you use it, you have to leave it about 18 minutes to charge the capacitors up. So here is your power supply socket. And this lead here is for your pedal or your leads, whatever one you're using. And here is your power supply switch on and off. So before setting up, let's remove this little plug socket first. And now I'm going to show you how to do it. Before you start, just remove these stickers first. Once removed, place your leads into your sockets. Getting those screws we had earlier. Place them through the leads and tighten with a screwdriver. Make sure you have this lead behind the leads so that it doesn't get in the way of your main cables. Now moving to the back of your machine, placing this jack plug in the back of the machine, or if you're using the pedal, and now you're gonna plug that main power lead into the back of the machine, and you are done. This is the first time powering it up. All hooked up. Very excited to use this so I can build the uh, battery pack for the mobility scooter. So it has to charge up before you can use it. It's about 18 minutes. So yeah, while well, that's doing that, I'm gonna look at the manual. So I've found that 0 0.3 gauge nickel strip wire and this setting, so you do it on number 30, I've got mine on automatic. Uh, this is a real good 
starting point if you don't want to blow holes in your nickel strip um, a really good setting so yeah look I'll show you show you what it's like beautiful spot weld and they're very strong and that's only on 30 so yeah that's what I found nice setting for 0 0.3 gauge nickel strip as you can see there that is a two foot battery and this is a mammoth task to do so yeah this is the biggest battery I've ever built Let's hope it works properly.